this is how I make my my living, folks. Iconic Scottish singer Annie Lennox may live a more private and low-key lifestyle than many celebrities. However, she still maintains a Hollywood home full of glamour. In 2018, she purchased her current 2,700 square foot modern estate, which still had touches of classic style, along with three beds and three and a half baths. The $4.38 million restored estate was initially designed by architects Conrad Buff and Donald Hensman in 1962. Annie lives in Los Angeles these days, but she called the UK home for many years. She formerly owned a five-story home spanning over 5,000 square feet of space in Notting Hill, London. This home had five bedrooms, including a master suite that stretched an entire floor. That being said, let's dive into Annie Lennox's gorgeous homes and lifestyle. Annie Lennox, the songwriter and philanthropist, was born on December 25th, 1954 in Aberdeen, Scotland. Lennox's early life was characterized by a deep connection to music and a determination to pursue her creative passions. Growing up in a modest working class family, Annie discovered her love for music at an early age. She attended the Royal Academy of Music in London, where she honed her skills and developed a strong foundation in classical music. However, it was the dynamic music scene of the late 1970s that called Annie to embark on a transformative journey. In the early 1980s, Lennox achieved international fame as the lead vocalist of Eurythmics, a groundbreaking musical duo formed with collaborator David A. Stewart. Hits like Sweet Dreams Are Made of This and Here Comes the Rain Again catapulted Eurythmics to stardom. Lennox's androgynous style and soulful voice made her an influential figure in the evolving landscape of pop and rock. Beyond her musical career, Annie Lennox is renowned for her philanthropic efforts. A committed advocate for social causes, Lennox has passionately supported initiatives related to HIV AIDS awareness, women's rights, and humanitarian issues. Her contributions to these causes didn't go unrecognized. She got accolades like an OBE, which is an order of the British Empire in 2011. When it comes to her lifestyle, Annie Lennox maintains a private and low-key personal life. While specific details about her homes are often kept confidential, it's known she's owned residences across the globe, including in London and the United States. Her commitment to privacy allows her to balance the demands of her public career with a sense of personal sanctuary. Let's kick things off with Annie's current home in the Hollywood Hills. She was famously searching for sweet dreams in her hit song, and these days, it seems that Annie lives at one of the sweetest pieces of real estate around. The arrhythmic singer purchased a stunning three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom mansion back in 2013, and it appears it's where she still lives to this day. The home has a sleek look from the outside, blending modern luxury with classic touches throughout, and spans 2,723 square feet of space. Annie doled out $4.38 million in the restored estate, which was initially designed by famed architect Conrad Buff and Donald Hensman back in 1962. It was said that Annie bought the home, located on a lot spanning over 33,000 square feet, to be closer to her daughter Tolly. At the time, Tolly, who's a model, tragically lost her boyfriend in a boating accident and moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. Annie's mid-century modern abode is in the Hollywood Hills and, more specifically, specifically on a hillside overlooking Runyon Canyon Park. There are features like covered patios off of the home, offering stunning views of the city and hills, and elsewhere, a sauna and perfectly manicured gardens. The two-level home is open plan throughout, like a modernist pavilion with an oversized brick fireplace and sprawling balcony. Third bedroom is set downstairs and boasts its own private veranda. Even though Annie's home has been meticulously restored with careful consideration to maintain the historic fabric of the house, including that classic 60s oversized brick fireplace, there are many modern elements. This includes her state-of-the-art European kitchen and an infinity pool out back. The living area is extended with a long balcony where you'll find sunset views. In the kitchen, there's a minimalistic feel with its long wooden island with white marble top, as well as long horizontal glass walls on each side that have breathtaking views of Southern California. 
area. The home is called the Johnson House after the original owners who received the place as a wedding present. Annie's master suite is located on the main upper level and offers a chic ensuite bath and plenty of closet space. The second bedroom is also located on this floor. The inside of the home purchased by Annie, who won an Academy Award for Best Original Song in 2004, has a crisp, light feel with off-white hardwood floors. The ceiling has exposed post and beams, giving it a rustic feel and complements the floor to ceiling windows. Her entire home makes the most of the natural light via all of the glass and light colored interior details. Annie's living room is centered around a white fireplace, which is next to a deck that has panoramic views of the gorgeous area. The deck is lined with couches along the wall and has a wooden plank floor. The listing at the time, which had been held by Steve Frankel of Coldwell Banker Residential Brokerage, called it one of the finest examples of Buff and Hensman's classic post and beam. Noting how its exquisite architecture and walls of glass seamlessly connect an exceptional modern interior with manicured lawns and gardens against the backdrop of an unparalleled canyon setting. Annie's home in Hollywood is no doubt gorgeous, but let's not forget that she formerly had a five-story mansion in London, more specifically in Notting Hill. The singer called the UK home for many, many years, and when it came time to sell her lavish pad in 2013, she was looking for a whopping 12 million pounds. But it's not that rare for a neighborhood like Notting Hill. Notting Hill is a pretty part of London, known for its colorful terrace houses, ranging from pastels to bold, bright colors. There's quite a lot to do around here too, whether whether it's walking the beautiful streets or going to a shop or cafe. Annie's stunning five level mansion here spent over 5,000 square feet of space, as well as offered five bedrooms and multiple baths. Not to mention her luxurious master suite actually spanned an entire level of the home. Her master area was fitted with a spacious sitting room as well as a modern bathroom. TripAdvisor spoke about Notting Hill in the past, stating as West London's friskiest corner, Notting Hill more than manages to retain plenty of the same appeal that's brought the affluent area so much worldwide attention. In this attractive cobblestone neighborhood, a delectable variety of eateries, independent shops, galleries, and street vendors offer a delightful window into how to live the good life in London. While it's a lovely place to spend time living in the area, it does not come cheap and it's certainly exclusive. As you can see, Annie Lennox has lived in some stunning homes just as stylish and iconic as her. While her London and Los Angeles properties are very unique and different, they are both welcoming in their own way. One was elegant and classic, her home in Notting Hill, while her current residence in Hollywood is sleek and modern. Which did you prefer? Before we go, answer this question for me. Would you prefer a home with multiple levels or more of an open concept one to two level property? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.